Hey, welcome back everybody. Ollie from Flight Comp here and started working again on the SR7 Vintage Slope Glider build. Um, I forget what part this is, but obviously you'll see it in the description of the video. I have started with the wingtips. So previously I thought that it didn't get wingtips, but obviously I wasn't paying attention to the, to the uh, plans. In fact, it does get wingtips. As you can see right here, um, there is a tip block right here, and they are calling for an inch of the aileron to be cut and attached to the tip. Um, so I'm going to do that as well just to keep it uh, accurate to the way the model was intended to be uh, built. So we're going to um, glue this tip on. And we will have to also kind of retack the aileron back onto the wing. And I'll have to cut a hole here for the torque rod. Uh, I have already started on the other wing tip. I can show you what I got going on. You can see I have. Uh, drilled a hole here for the torque tube and uh, made a little recess here so it fits. I've taped the aileron down here and then over at the tip I have uh, epoxied the tip block on and I haven't cut this out yet but I've drawn the uh, cut line where it needs to be cut and I tacked this bit of aileron onto the wing with some CA and if you look at the tip block, I did already kind of rough cut it um, to the proper shape. And I just used a, a scroll saw, and I'll show you guys uh, how I did that with the uh, other side here. Well, I have uh, marked and drilled the hole for the torque tube and cut a channel in here for this portion. So this will go. this goes on nicely. Next thing I'm going to do is tape it up on this end and then I'm going to tack it together on this side here and then we can move on to the tip block. Alright, well I've traced the rough tip shape onto this um, tip block and I'm going to use the, the saw here to cut it out. And on the other side, the other, other wing tip, I've already begun doing some rough sanding. I'm using this tape just to protect the wing while I use the uh, coarser 100 grit sandpaper. And since I, you know, bandsawed this shape or used the scroll saw, it, it's uh, I have a lot less material to get rid of, you know, versus just gluing this big old block on there and trying to sand all this down or, or use a razor plane or something. So I'm going to continue sanding on this and then I'm going to also um, cut this guy out here. So I got this uh, tip block cut out and I've uh, glued it on with some 15 minute epoxy and we're ready to start sanding on this and shaping it. And I've basically got the other side finished, so I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, I started out rough shaping with some 100 grit sandpaper and then moved on to uh, 220 grit sandpaper. And I might do a little more on it but the basic shape is there. So you guys can just see what it looks like. And then I have to cut out this uh, little bit of aileron here and then the rest of the aileron will break free. And I still have to bevel the ailerons uh, for the hinges. So I'll do that too, but right now I'll move on to sanding the other side. 
All right, well, I've, I've cut away the aileron. You can see it right here. Um, from the tip area, this piece is one inch in width. And now what I have to do is bevel um, the, e the edge of the aileron here to allow it to move up and down and uh, accept the hinges. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on beveling both the ailerons and after I do that I'm probably going to um, install the hinges at least temporarily um, and then that will basically wrap up all of the uh, like wood construction or major construction of the wing and then we can move on to the little canopy tray we have to make Time to bevel the ailerons um, so we can get the hinges in there. I've drawn some lines on the ailerons. As you can see, top and bottom, and I have a center line on the face here so I can just sort of sand and uh, connect these lines up and uh, hopefully we'll get a nice bevel on there. So I'll, I'll do that now on both ailerons and then we can get some hinges installed. Alright, I got a nice bevel on the aileron here, as you can see, and I'm try to stick it on the wing and just make sure that we get the kind of movement that we want out of the aileron. That's moving really nicely. So job done there, I'm going to finish the other side and then we can move forward with the progress on this wing. All right, ready to go ahead with the hinging. Um, I've taped the aileron on kind of temporarily, and I'm gonna use three hinges, and I've made some small marks where I want to install them. And I'm using these uh, MP Jet pinned plastic hinges. Um, part number is right there, 2533B. There's also white ones if you want white. Uh, 12 in a pack so plenty and so I've marked these and I'm just gonna transfer these lines to the faces of the surfaces and um, drill some holes so I have um, the hinges installed on the left side of the wing As you can see right here they're working pretty good if I pull the aileron out a little bit you can see what I got going on Got those hinges, those pinned hinges, drilled the holes, so I'll just pull this guy out and I need to move on to duplicating the hinges on the, uh, the right side of the wing. I have the locations marked on the wing and the aileron here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, both the hinges are done, so both of the ailerons are working. Pretty happy with the uh, the way it came out. Um, that completes all the construction on the wing. I'm going to set this aside for now and start working on the canopy tray. I still have to hinge the elevator so when I finish the canopy tray I'll, uh, I'll do the hinges on the elevator. So the instructions call for cutting out um, three pieces of this plywood to make the canopy tray. I'm a little skeptical how accurate these uh, drawings are to match the fuselage shape. So, um, but anyway, I'll cut the paper out first and and just place them on here and see how accurate things are. Um, this is the plastic canopy. Luckily, even though this kit is really old, the canopy is still in great shape. And another concern I have is that there's a, a step in the fuselage. You know, when the two halves of the mold were put together, they weren't aligned perfectly. So there's a step in the fuselage that's going to affect how those plywood pieces fit. Uh, I'm not sure how much it'll mess things up yet. Um, there's some flashing here I need to clean up. So I'm just going to start kind of playing around with the stuff and seeing um, how close I can get it. 
Well, I cut out these templates and they seem to fit fairly well, except for this front one here has some gaps. So I think I'm going to um, make my own template instead of using this little front piece. And then I can transfer these over to the plywood and cut these parts out. So I've cut out the uh, plywood pieces for the canopy tray and as I expected the fit isn't super precise so I'll need to do a little bit of uh, massaging on these pieces to get them to fit. And um, because of the step in the fuselage seam, you know these things don't fit very, uh, they don't fit flush, there's wobble on the uh, all the pieces basically. I'm, I'm hoping when I put the plastic canopy on it'll stabilize everything. Uh, I really don't know how else to uh, address that. But uh, I'm going to continue on trying to get these parts to fit better and we'll see what happens. Well I have these pieces tuned up a little bit and I've actually glued them together with some uh, CA. Um, the fit is about as good as I can get. Still a little wobbly. Now I'm going to start working on the canopy here. Um, even though this kit was pretty old, the canopy is still in pretty good shape. So I'm just going to start slowly trimming it up and trying to get it to fit on the wood tray. And the idea is going to be to uh, have it flush on the front and then it'll sort of um, overlap the fuselage on the bottom. And I actually want it to overlap a little bit on the back too. So I'm hoping that those overlaps will stabilize this and keep this from rocking back and forth. And then we're going to put a uh, like a pin, maybe a dowel in the front, so it'll go in like this. And then in the back, um, it calls for like a weird ball cup kind of snap-in thing. Um, I'm going to probably put a like spring-loaded. Um, like latch that you pull back and this will pop off um, or I might look at magnets too but we'll see well I am working on this canopy here and um, I'm just trimming a little bit at a time and fitting as I go it's not very straightforward much like everything about this kit um, but I, I put some blue tape on here so I could use a pen on it and mark it up and cut lines without screwing up the canopy I think I got this side pretty much done so I'm, I'm working on this side now and I'll just keep uh, trimming this up and see see how it looks alright I'm pretty close with the canopy here um, it still needs a little bit of trimming but I think I'm gonna leave that little final bit of trim probably be like one of the last things I do I need to do something with this plywood, either paint it or fiberglass it or put some kind of finish on it. So uh, I'm going to do that first before I final trim the canopy. But you can see it's fitting pretty well. It's looking more and more like a uh, cockpit in there. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is do the like latch mechanism. And for that I'm going to use this uh, MP Jet. This is sort of like a spring-loaded uh, canopy latch and that'll go uh, back here somewhere and then I'm gonna put a pin in the front right here coming up pretty good I have the uh, latch installed in the back here working out really well um, I will put probably a ply doubler here to give this some more support and then I've drilled a, a two millimeter hole and I have some two millimeter rod here going through. Obviously I'm just gonna clip a piece of this off and glue it uh, to the canopy tray. More progress. Okay, so I have um, taped this tray down temporarily and I've put a plywood doubler here to help support the uh, latch for the canopy. And in the front, I have uh, epoxied in a metal pin. See that right there? 
So the epoxy is still drying, so I'll let this cure. I use 15 minutes, and I'll just set this aside for now. Next thing I'm going to do is hinge the uh, elevators. So if you guys remember, I have just temper temporarily tacked the elevators in place so I could sand everything neatly. Um, I'm going to have to cut these loose, and I'm going to be using two of these MP Jet pinned hinges. Uh, two on each side So we'll get on with that um, kind of that'll probably be pretty boring So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done All right. Well canopy is basically done. I got the pin glued in and the latch in all the glue is dried um, The latch works really well Maybe some slight trimming left to be done on the canopy once everything is finished and painted or whatever I'm gonna do to it um, and then we have the elevator here, which is hinged now. See, it's working quite well. Um, you know, uh, that basically wraps up all the construction. Um, I do still have to install elevator and aileron servos, but that, that'll be one of the, the, ver the very last things I'll do. We're going to move on to putting a finish on these wood parts, uh, the, the wing and the tails and all that. We're going to glass these with some very light glass and do a lot of priming and sanding and then move on to painting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We've made a lot of progress uh, on the SR7 and uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you guys in the next one.